skipper key. The name means little skipper, little boat captain. It's the traditional way to describe the small black dog prized as a superb watchdog and faithful guardian of home and family. The breed is thought to have its origins in present-day Holland and Belgium. Although its ancestry remains obscure, it's possible that the Skipper Key shares a common heritage with native sheep herding breeds. It is known that a story about a small dog with no tail appeared in 15th century Flemish monastery chronicles. The first recorded mention of a dog resembling a Skipper Key. But it was in Belgium that the breed was first exhibited by that name near the end of the 17th century. By the late 19th century, Skipper Keys had become widely distributed as house pets throughout the towns of central Belgium. Skipper Keys arrived in America in the late 1880s and were admitted to AKC registration in 1904. You'll be seeing many Skipper Keys, whether show dog or companion. Each is a cherished family member, and each will help you develop a better understanding of the Skipper Key. Now let's begin. Your first impression of a skipper key should be its cobby, thick-set body that is muscular without being muscle-bound, sturdy but athletic, reflecting its heritage as an active and capable guardian and watchdog. Essential breed characteristics of the skipper key are its unique silhouette, its cobby and muscular body, its distinctive coat growth pattern, keen, questioning expression, and square profile without a tail. Because it is a small dog, the best way to accurately assess a skipper key up close is either by getting down to the dog's level or by placing it on a table. Proportions may seem different in a dog viewed from above. This skipper key moving in the grass, appears deceptively fat and short-legged. Here is the same dog, quite a different appearance. The recommended height range for a skipper key is 10 to 13 inches at the withers. Dogs tend to be at the taller end of the scale than bitches. Overall, balance and proportion should take precedence over size alone in two otherwise equal specimens. Males should be decidedly masculine without coarseness, and females should be decidedly feminine without over-refinement. 